Hello, and a very warm welcome from my side. My name is Markus Vogel. I'm the global head of end use decorative coatings at Bökchini. Today, I want to show you or present to you the new family of solid non-dusting and biocide free rheology additives. Namely, we are talking about Reobuk 7650, 7670 and Reobuk 7690. This is a new family of polyurethane thickeners, but in a very special supply form. Associated thickeners, in general, based on the so-called Hoya technology, hydrophobically ethoxylated urethane technology or chemistry. These are well-established products, additives to adjust the rheology at low, mid or high shear range. You can adjust pseudoplastic, or a Newtonian flow behavior, or a balance of both. The nice thing of polyurethane signals is that they are acting independently from the pH value. And at the end, by the right adjustment of the rheology of your paint formulation, you get nice leveling properties, no or just minor impairment on the gloss levels, combined with high sec resistance wherever needed. And overall, these liquid products are easy to incorporate. So these liquid products, aqueous solutions, are supplied usually with a solid content of 15 to 30%, sometimes up to 40 or 50%, but they have also a limited storage stability. And due to the water content, most of the products contain biocides or solvents to avoid microbial contamination. There are also solid associative signals in the market, but these fine powders can be very difficult to incorporate in the system. And due to the fact that this fine powder, you have dust formation, means for your production site, you have to install additional health and safety protection measures. The new products now, Rayo Book 7650 to 7690, these are solid flakes. So a new delivery form, a non-dusting delivery form where you don't need extra protection measures. BU3-free, APO-free and tin-free, that's clear for our polyurethane sickness. But now we are, can also offer biocide-free products. So for really environmentally friendly water-based coating systems. And additionally, you have reduced transport, transport, transportation volumes which is nowadays, with the keyword sustainability, also an additional benefit. Due to the missing water, you have a greater flexibility for your formulation and production. No water means no frost sensitiveness, and you get an extended shelf life with outstanding storage stability and an easy handling. Coming to the three products. Why three products? For all the shear rates. We have the Rayobic 7650 for the low shear rate range, the 7670 for the mid shear thickening effect, and the Rayobic 7690 for the high shear thickening for the ICI viscosity. And at the bottom, you see the picture of the delivery form. These are flakes, sometimes up to five millimeters. Are they really easy to handle? I will show you in the next slides. First of all, I show you this small video. We blow air to conventional powder form product and to our flakes, and you see directly the differences. The fine powder flows away. So you need really additional safety measures in the production because there is a risk of inhalation and therefore also healthy risk. With the new flakes, no dusting, no additional safety measures are needed. Coming to the transportation in the production, if you can handle powders, you can also handle these flakes. So typical screw conveyors can be used to transport these products from point A to point B. You see it here in this small video. So no additional equipment is needed. The installed equipment 
is enough to transport these new products of polyurethane thickeners. But now the most important question, what about the incorporation in the system? Here you see, we take this rare brick 7690, put it in water, and just with the magnetic stirrer in water means low viscosity and low shear forces, it is very easy to incorporate it in a short time. So they are really easy to incorporate in the system. And this is the same for the other ones, for the Rio Buick 7650, 7670. Means you can use all the three products at all stages of the production process. You can use it in the grinding stage, the lateral stage, or even as a post additive. For sure, if you use it for as a post additive, then maybe you have to steer it a little bit longer. And temperature always helps to incorporate it. Higher temperature means 30 to 40 degrees, which is easily achievable in your production. Not with additional heating, just by steering, by dispersing your formulation. Coming to the performance of the three products. Here you see that these new products are really comparable in the rheology with standard liquid additives. In the low shear rate area, as well as in the mid shear rate area, or as an ICI driver in the high shear rate range. So here we compare it to the liquid standard additives. And there's nearly no differences in the performance. Sometimes we see even more efficiency by using these flakes. Coming to some application examples, starting with architectural coatings. Here we took our low shear thickener Reobrick 7650 and add this product to a pure acrylic emulsion paint at a lower PVC. Pigment volume concentration of this formulation was around 16%. On the right hand side, you see the good set resistance compared to the market standards. But in addition to that, it also has a minimized influence on the colorant acceptance, or it can improve compared to other products, the colorant acceptance. The Mitchell Sigma. You see an example on this side. Same formulation, low PVC paint, acrylic emulsion paint, same good sec resistance on the right hand side, also compared to some liquid market standards. And on the left hand side, you see the nice properties in the anti, anti spattering resistance. So here we did a roller test on a black card, and you see really the improvement in the anti-spattering effect by using Rare Big 7670. Another additional benefit by using this mid shear thickener. The high shear thickener for the ICI viscosity, for sure, it shows you the best sec resistance out of these three products, but also better than some market standards which we tested in the same formulation. And not just the high sec resistance you see on the right hand side, is a benefit by using the 7690. It is combined with a very good leveling, means low influence on the gloss, nice leveling, and this ends up in highest aesthetic properties of your coating formulation. But not just in architectural coatings, you can use these three new additives. Here you see an example from industrial coatings. In a water-based two-pack polyurethane top coat, for example, we measured the sec resistance. And you see in all cases for the low, mid shear and high shear thickener, we achieved comparable results to the market standards, sometimes even slightly better. What about other applications? Coming to wood coatings. Here our wood coating department evaluated the new flake form polyurethane thickeners in the pure form as a flake. They prepared a pre gem and compare it to a market standard. And then they post edit it to a self cross linking accurate dispersion based on the mentioned binder. 0.1% of the new flakes were added to the system. And you see in some cases that the flakes are much more efficient than the pre gem or the market standard. So means don't worry about the flakes. Use the flakes directly in your formulation and you will get the best properties in your final formulation. Another application field, two-pack water-based epoxies. In this case, a floor coating formulation. Here, we achieved outstanding anti-settling effect with these 
products, especially with the 7650, which had thrusted a pseudo-plastic flow behavior. And compared to the market standard, even after 8 to 28 days at accelerated temperatures, here 40 degrees, we have nearly no settling behavior. So outstanding storage stability by adjusting a pseudoplastic flow behavior with this low shit signal. And this is combined with good surface properties and with less warming tendency compared to other products. So you get outstanding storage stability combined with a low forming product and the final surface properties are really excellent. So what I showed you is that you can use it for sure in all architectural coatings formulation. I showed you as an example in a general industrial coatings formulation, a wood and furniture coating formulation, and the last one was from the floor coating industry, the two-pack water-based epoxies. Furthermore, we tested these products also in real and protective coatings formulations, and even in adhesives and sealants, we achieved really nice results. So you have a really broad application field by using these new innovative flake form polyurethane signals for all shearings. Coming already to the summary, these three, three new additives combine the typical benefits of standard liquid polyurethane signals, so they act independently from the pH value. You can adjust the really pseudoplastic, Newtonian flow behavior, or a good balance of both. We offer three new products, one for the low, one for the mid, and one for the high shear range, so that you can achieve good leveling properties combined with high sec resistances wherever needed. No impact on the gloss means superior surface properties, and the liquid ones are easy to incorporate. So now the additional benefits of these new products is you use solid flakes a non-dusting material where there's no extra protection needed. VOC-free, APO-free, tin-free, that's clear. But now in addition to that, because we offer solid products, biocide-free products. So it's specially designed for environmentally friendly, future-orientated products, formulations with reduced transportation volume, which gives you also greater flexibility in the formulation of your paints. There are no frost sensitiveness. You get an extended shelf life with an outstanding storage stability and it, at last again with a very easy handling. Saying that, I'm at the end of this presentation. Thank you for your attention. And whenever you need more information, whenever you have questions, feel free to get in contact with us. Thank you very much.